All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. This Holy Mass is being offered for Rosalia Adonetto Tahelein on her anniversary. We're also asked to pray for a family who are traveling to India tomorrow and also hoping to go to uh, the uh, pilgrimage, Our Lady of, uh, is it Vala? You know where it is. Uh, is, is that Our Lady of Health, is it? In, oh, Our Lady of Health in Madras, Chennai. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The length of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died at Kiriath Arba, or Hebron, in the land of Canaan. <clears throat> and Abraham went to mourn and grieve for her. Then leaving his dead, Abraham spoke to the sons of Heth. I am a stranger and a settler among you, he said. Let me own a burial plot among you, so that I may take my dead wife and bury her. After this, Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field of Machpelah, opposite Mamre, in the country of Canaan. By now, Abraham was an old man, well on in years, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the eldest servant of his household, the steward of all his property, place your hand under my thigh. I would have you swear by the Lord God of heaven and God of earth that you will not choose a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live. Instead, go to my own land and my own kinsfolk to choose a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman does not want to come with me to this country? Must I take your son back to the country from which you came? Abraham answered, no, On no account take my son back there. The Lord, God of heaven and God of earth, took me from my father's home and from the land of my father's home and from the land of my kinsfolk. And he swore to me that he would give this country to my descendants. He will now send his angel ahead of you, so that you may choose a wife for my son there. And if the woman does not want to come with you, you will be free from this oath of mine. Only do not take my son back there. Isaac, who lived in the Negev, had meanwhile come into the wilderness of the well of Lahai Roy. Now Isaac went, walking in the fields as evening fell, and looking up saw camels approaching. And Rebekah looked up and saw Isaac. She, 
she jumped down from her camel and asked the servant, Who is that man walking through the fields to meet us? The servant replied, That is my master. Then she took her veil and hid her face. The servant told Isaac the whole story, and Isaac led Rebekah into his tent and made her his wife, and he loved her. And so Isaac was consoled for the loss of his mother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his great love is without end. Who can tell the Lord's mighty deeds? Who can recount all his praise? O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They are happy who do what is right, who at all times do what is just. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Come to me, Lord, with your help, that I may see the joy of your chosen ones and may rejoice in the gladness of your nation and share the glory of your people. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Please stand. Teach me your paths, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking, he saw a man named Matthew sitting by the customs house, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at dinner in the house, it happened that a number of tax collectors and sinners came to sit at the table with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? When he heard this, he replied, It is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. Go and learn the meaning of the words, What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. And indeed, I did not come to call the virtuous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. The call of Matthew or Levi takes place after, in St. Matthew's Gospel, Jesus has preached and taught in the Sermon of the Mount. And in many ways, the call of Matthew, and it is the very writer, the author of the Gospel, who now is, in that sense, telling his own story. The call of Matthew, in many ways, represents the fulfillment of the Sermon on the Mount, because everything that our Lord has taught, now Matthew has heard. He was sitting by the customs house, and Jesus gives to him the command the invitation, come, follow me. And Matthew leaves his work. He was a tax collector, an important official. And afterwards, there was a dinner and a number of tax collectors. And tax collectors were a despised group at this time because they were collecting taxes mostly on behalf of the Roman 
administration, those who were occupying and ruling, but tax collectors by definition were dishonest men because they used to pocket part of the revenue they collected. Tax collectors and sinners, and we know from the other Gospels that particularly prostitutes, women whose life was anything but pure and wholesome. And it's these that come to sit with our Lord at the table. And the Pharisees, who are the teachers and interpreters of the law, a very strict religious party among the Jews, they turn to the disciples, to the followers of Jesus, and say, why does your master, why does Jesus eat with tax collectors and sinners? the lowest of the low, people who are known to be breaking the law of God. It is not the disciples that reply, but Christ himself. He says, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. He is our spiritual physician. We are all sick the sickness of sin at the root, despite whatever physical ailments we may have. And so Jesus says, go and learn the meaning of the words, what I want is mercy, not sacrifice. That's a reference to the prophet Joel in the Old Testament. I did not come to call the virtuous, but sinners. And no one is virtuous in God's sight. We are all sinners. We all have need of his mercy. But what Jesus does through his death, his suffering, his death, and his resurrection is to bring the unvirtuous to virtue, to bring the sinner to new life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have been born. Human hands have made it become for us the bread. By the Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this mind. The clean hands of God become Lord God, we have this mind. The Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly entered into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, his holy name. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow the Mass will be at uh, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, not 12, 9 o'clock. And after that Mass I will be available for confession so I'll be saying the Mass tomorrow, and Father Bob will be back in time for the um, evening Mass, the first Mass of the Sunday. There is exposition after Mass, and Rosary today being the first Friday. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.